And then I woke up and got the news that my movie is nominated for an actor award. Did you say that at all on my Instagram or thing? Yes, I was going to ask you about that. So what's, so what is the, that's like the Oscars for Australia, right? Correct. So it's the, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're officially up for nomination for best film and we're alongside like, Baz Luhrmann's Elvis and uh, George Miller's uh, Thousand Years of Longing. Is that what it's called? Whoa. I probably know those names. But yeah, so it's... <laughs> uh, and Holy we've cow. got best, best costume design as well. So they're part of like the tech awards. But like best film is just the best one we could be nominated for, obviously. But it's because it's not singling out any department necessarily. It's like a celebration of everyone that worked on the movie. So I woke up to, to that news and that just like propelled me to go on this massive like hour and a half walk. And I just had the best fucking morning. Then I got my coffee and here we are. Salud. Oh my God. Salud. I, I will have my LaCroix at the same time. LaCroix. Has, mm. Is LaCroix the official sponsor of this podcast series? It I will be. I'm LaCroix, they've, it's made appearances in other videos. Also Chipotle. I am an idiot. Because I met, I went to Chipotle last night for my meal prep. That's, you know, what I do. I get the meal prep. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. meant to grab an extra bag to have it just sitting here. It should be there. It should, it should be, be there. there. And it, it would have been really funny, but it's not there. <laughs> for next time. It's okay. For next but time. I that, that should be a staple of your set design. I appreciate that. So you have your, the, the little, what are the, t the tissues, the kitchen tissues? Yeah, so they're Chucks, um, kitchen wipes, which I needed. And this is Chucks? a, it's just the brand of the, the kitchen wipes. That sounds like an Australian brand. Is that like a, is yes. that a ubiquitous brand? Is it everywhere? Y yes. Yes. I think they, they do other things. They've got a product range. I don't know what it is specifically, but they're just the wipes. Um, and here is a heat pack because my, I was kind of, my shoulder was a bit tense from all of like the work and winning at life. So that's kind of the <laughs> Sitting there. So. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So the I, I want to come back to we. I I went to Lacroix and then Chipotle, which is also awesome. But we were literally just talking about you and the the nomination for the film. So it's costume design and the like best picture for the whole mm -hmm. for the film. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I, I'm just excited for the. The awards night like the we could just get to celebrate with each other like it's a really good way to wrap up the whole experience because it's been like four years i i was just i was literally just gonna say oh that's fun because you get an awards night and you're gonna get to wear a dress that's obviously my main priority like hello <laughs> i'm like obviously i have to start shopping now for a gown like a black tie gown i'm so pumped but also for the celebration and the movie and blah 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 as well but mainly the dress <laughs> I'm it's joking. All fun. No, it's yeah, all but fun. It's... it's all fun. It it means everything and nothing. And I think when you go with a sense of you know this doesn't define you or it doesn't mean much, you know, like like it's lovely to be um, acknowledged for the work and stuff, like to feel validated and all of that, and to celebrate. But ultimately, it's just going to be a big party. I can't wait. That's why I'm glad to like talk to you with this because like being able to have that perspective of it means everything and nothing at the same time. And that's obviously why we connect a lot. And I, I've, gosh, it's amazing to think about four years, you said, of this kind of coming to a fruition. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting involved with acting in the beginning and hearing people talk about or actors or directors talk about, oh, this film took five years to make or 10 years to make. And I was like, wow, well, how... I, I don't have time for that. How does that happen? Right. And now being almost 20 years into this, I see, oh yeah, I now I see how it can take four, five, 10, 20 years to get something, to see something fully to its end. And it should, it should take that long because anything quality needs time. You need time. It needs development. It needs to, to kind of sit and settle. It needs to move naturally and organically. Like we can't, I mean, if you want to produce like a shit ton of content and push stuff out there for the purpose of, you know, maybe building a following or, you know, maybe there's more of an urgent goal, then that's a whole other, that's a whole other story. And that's totally, um, that has its place as well. But to actually create 
something that you know of really high quality it, it does it takes it takes time and I think as well it because when we started none of us knew what the fuck this would be mm-hmm. we um the eight writers of which I'm one we got selected to be on this project so we had to apply for it and when we all came together for the first writers room we thought we were writing a web series or something we thought oh this is oh. cute at us eight writers getting together to write something we had no idea and the producers as well didn't really know what it was going to be but as the stories picked up a little and we started to see these really great connections and the vibe was cool and the the project started getting more funding they're like wait hold on this could be a feature film so it was only kind of halfway through the process that we kind of saw it as being a feature you know like and I think that's why it ended up being so successful because we all came in not having any expectation. We would just uh, genuinely enjoy the craft and write and come up with ideas. And the producers believed in the project, whatever it was right from the beginning. Um, and they just knew it was going to be something special. And from day one in that room, I looked around and I'm like, this is a special bunch. There was just something in the air. You can just feel it sometimes with different rooms when you come into with these creative projects. There's like a a crackle or a sparkle or or a connection with people that just, it's very palpable. Very much so. And I think as well, it's the, it's the chemistry of all the people in the room. Like it's a, it's a specific dynamics of the people created. Like had there been one extra person in that room, or one less person in that room, that that secret uh, chemistry or whatever would have been upset. Does that make sense? The secret Chipotle yeah. sauce? Yeah, the yeah, secret <laughs> Chipotle sauce. It's like there was just enough of this, just enough of that, just enough of that, and that's what made it be the special Chipotle sauce. The, the nominated the, film. The nominated film, yeah. So anyway. Did it come together as... You said it started like as like a, a web series idea. Is is the final film a sort of anthology or is it a disconnected piece or is it all together? Does it relate? I don't. So it's a so think of Crash. You know the movie Crash. I was gonna say Crash, and I was like, ah, that's that's probably not it. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that was our reference kind of the whole time. It's eight awesome. interconnected stories. So because there were eight writers and the the producers um, wanted original voices and they wanted us to write what we were passionate about every writer wrote their specific chapters and then we found that we could link them through an inciting incident so uh, it's not, yeah it's, it's that crash formula of different characters living different lives but something happens that brings them all together somehow um so as you watch it it goes through chapters so it'll be the first chapter second so on and so forth um but yeah there's that there's a connecting link and and the thing that connected it all as well was there was the same DOP, so the same cinematographer. Um, so I think, and the same, obviously, uh, sound designer, same production team and all of that sort of stuff. So that's that's how we were able to make it one cohesive film. But there were five directors as well. So can Whoa. you imagine? Yeah, eight writers, five directors. See? So it's like, how the fuck did this even happen? Well, magic. it's almost like, it's oh, yeah, it's magic. And it's, it almost sounds like a... Um... Uh, like the way that s- series are made on like streaming networks. So it just makes me think of something like Game of Thrones where you have a, a eight or 10 episode season and there's multiple directors throughout it, but there is an overarching cohesiveness because of the same sound designers yeah. and editors and cinematographers. You yeah, know, that's yeah. cool. And, and everyone that came in, it was like they put the writers at the forefront of the project. So like the writers, for example, we were made associate producers, which means that we had say over the production design, say over the casting and all of that. So it was, everyone was really honoring the writer's stories and the writer's vision and everyone knew that coming in. And typically like that upsets the normal process of making films, right? Because films is very much the, the writer and then they hand that over to the, whatever to the production team and then the director comes on board and it's quite hierarchical yeah that's what hierarchical. i'll take it but this one was kind of more of a, a cross kind of a, a thing so it's like we've made a new model for how to make films and you've shown that it can work because you made a great product that is nominated yeah yeah for best film so it became a collaborative process yeah. as opposed to a hierarchical process. Yeah. I will yeah. 
I will try that word also. <laughs> Hierarchical. Wow. Yeah. So in the production office, for example, we went to visit the production office. And as the writers, we had to submit research packets. Um, so these documents about how we saw the costume design for our characters, um, how we saw the set, what that looked like in our minds. And in the production office, they printed off in colour all of our research packets and it lined the walls. It almost looked like an art exhibition. And so everyone who was working on the production team had that for reference, you know? So it was that- That is so cool. So cool, so cool. That they actually honored your mm -hmm. vision and the other writer's vision as part of the process instead of the process just kind of stopping when you're done yeah. with your script and revisions. Yeah. It's great. I mean, it took time and it was, the producer said it was, I mean, the hardest thing they've ever had to do, but once you kind of implement that um, process and you see that it works, it's like, you can do it again. You know, once you've done it, once you do it again. But yeah. what do you think the, what do you think made it so hard for the producer or producer? Oh, the fact that you're balancing eight writers. So essentially eight mini scripts and you have to tie them in. And obviously every writer has a different voice. So it's like, okay, how do you manage the tone, the different tones? Then also you've got five directors coming on board. They have a different way of working. They're working on one of the chapters that may have an actor from one of the other chapters that another director has worked with. So it's making sure that that character in the other chapter is represented the same way in this chapter. You know, <laughs> so it's all of, it's, it's just a lot of, um, a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. It like expands exponentially with each person that's involved, but you have yeah. to, in this model, honor each of those person's visions. And mm -hmm. then it just becomes a lot of spinning plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool though. Congratulations. So when is the actual, the, this festival, this award show? December, December the 7th. And then is that something that, is that televised? Is there going to, is like Lady Gaga going to perform? Like, is it like oh, a... <laughs> No, I don't know. God, I don't know who's performing.